As we enter our third week of school, we wanted to take a few moments to thank our parents and our students for a successful start to the new school year. We know it has not been easy for everyone, and we applaud the efforts made at home and at school to support our learners. We've been very pleased with the way in which our year has started. Our improved traffic systems in morning and afternoon are working very well thanks to the cooperation of parents and drivers as well as students. A reminder that any student can enter from gate two or gate four. Also, we remind you that there are two drop-off zones by gate two. Social distancing and regular cleaning are in place on campus to reduce risks to students and staff. Our break times are safer, allowing for necessary rest and social interaction in a safe manner. Our shortened school day and split breaks are working well and do not have a negative impact on learning. We do, however, wish for a sustained, fully opened academic year for the duration. Your continued support is critical. The following are some key areas we would like to reinforce and clarify procedures for you. We ask that you please take note as your attention to these matters helps to ensure the safety of our whole school community. Home-based health checks are critical. If your child is unwell, they must stay at home. Your swift attention to health concerns is especially important. Don't delay, act stat. Stay, tell, ask and take. Stay home, tell the school, ask your doctor and take a test if necessary. Communication with us is essential, especially if your child is unwell. We are committed to keeping you informed as and when the need arises. This includes informing you of any potential risk your child may have been exposed to. We ask that you please avoid spreading rumors or your personal business via WhatsApp. It's easy to be misinterpreted and cause unnecessary panic. Large gatherings of children, especially without supervision or protection, increases risk. Ensure you and your children are practicing social distancing and using personal protection outside of school. Stay aware of who your child is spending time with in the event you or we need to assess risk of exposure at any point. Masks and visors protect others as well as the wearer. They must be worn at all times, except in very specific supervised outdoor times where social distancing measures are observed. This includes waiting for pickup at the end of the day. Please make sure that your child has a clean spare mask with him or her each day. Let's all continue to work together to keep our community safe. Your feedback is valuable. Please help us by completing the parent reopening survey the link to which is found in the body of this email.